Good day. Thanks for tuning in. Our meditation this evening is taken from Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, the fifth chapter. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have been have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. So if we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. You know, it was a busy day at uh, Grace Lutheran and Redeemer Lutheran. Yesterday we had uh, bread baking for First Communion. So I've got here some of uh, the ingredients, the, the recipe for, for that First Communion bread that the young people made. Uh, Life also consists of ingredients, and the recipe for life is what Paul talks about in the fruits of the Spirit. Uh, something that, that we don't do, uh, it's, it's an ingredient that comes from, I mean, how do I, what's the ingredient for Spirit? Um, I can't find it here. We have nothing like that. We've been crucified with Christ. In other words, we've been buried with Christ so that we will be raised up with an ingredient that allows this, uh, this uh, wonderful, wonderful concoction to grow and, and, and with the smell and the savor of what all that means for us in life. Uh, the fruits of the Spirit are the things that God gives to us in Christ. Uh, those ingredients we can't manufacture, we can't put together. And thank goodness, because I'm not much of a baker, if I were to do this, we'd have some kind of bread. But God promises us nourishment and uh, food for our life. Shall we pray? Good and gracious God, we thank you this day that you have indeed given us the ingredients for life, the recipe uh, that is your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And how we put our recipe for life together, Lord God, you give that final touch by putting your Spirit into our hearts so that there are those things like love and patience and peace those things that the world cannot give, but only you can give. We're thankful this night that you continue to abide with us in a, in a formula or a recipe for life that knows no end. That the bread that we eat or the food that we eat is that which springs up to eternal life. Thank you, Lord God, that you have been with us and sustain us and keep us with this kind of nourishment for our bodies. And so for all these things we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You know, it's late in the day and I'm getting a little hungry. I might just have to make me up something here uh, if I just had the right recipe. But, well, you've been given the right recipe. Uh, put on Christ. Add Christ to your menu to a recipe and a promise that knows no end. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And may God bless.